Newcastle United. The set piece sent in by Shelby, nodded across the face of goal, and nobody, nobody picks up Matt Ritchie, who strokes it home from 10 yards out. And Matt Ritchie is on the phone now. Afternoon, Matt. Hi there, how you doing? Hi, Matt. Very good, thanks to you lot yesterday. You ended a run of 43 <laughs> shots without scoring. What a time to put your magic hat back on. <laughs> yeah, it's about time. Uh, it's been a long time coming, as you say. It's um, taken a few shots, but um, it was a good time to score it. Just wondering what was said amongst the players and, and from Rafa, knowing that you dropped into the bottom three before going an, into that game, because it looks like you were absolutely fighting for everything on that pitch yesterday. Yeah, I think obviously we were aware of the result at um, Huddersfield and um, dropping into the bottom three is not a nice feeling. And I think that it was obviously we was in control of it that we could go out and, and if we got three points, we'd be out of that situation. So um, for the time being, so um, yeah, no, it was a it was a wholehearted, good spirited uh, performance, but something we need to build on really. And a, a, Matt, a great goal. I thought it was a great goal he scored. It was just anticipation. You. No, I, I thought, you know, it, it didn't look, it wasn't spectacular, but I thought if your brain actually anticipated the ball getting headed back across the goal and then you finish, cool as you like. Looked like you were on a 10 Grim scoring streak, <laughs> just slotting it in the corner. I wish it felt like that. Yeah, um, it took forever to come to me on the pitch, it uh, felt like. But um, no, yeah, I, I was pleased. At, to be honest, I was just thinking, hit the target. Um, but obviously, we, we've, we've worked on set pieces where, where the ball gets put back across, and the, the second ball, as you know, is very dangerous. And lucky enough, I managed to find a bit of space in the box. And um, as I say, my, my, my main name was to hit the target, and lucky enough, I went in the bottom corner. It's been a long time coming at home as well. I think the first win in nine. Just what was the atmosphere like in there? Because it kind of showed just what that place can be like. Absolutely, and it's very yeah. best. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. It was, the atmosphere was electric, um, and I think that when we get when we get on the front foot, we we, we it gives everyone confidence when the, the the crowd starts to roar because all it takes is I think you, you, I actually watch a game, but you can hear on the telly that the the, the roar when attack when a tackle's made or an interception, and it's, it gives everyone confidence um, around the stadium, and that that obviously goes into the players and. I think that showed in the performance. We started really well the first 10 minutes. We were excellent and got on the front foot. And obviously, it made it difficult for Manchester United and um, gave ourselves that opportunity to, to get out of the pitch and obviously to, to, to nick a goal. We rode our luck at times, but you're going to do that against the top team. It was, I've got to tell you, it was pretty horrible at the end, <laughs> watching it. It got it got a bit yeah, no, nervy, was, didn't it? Absolutely, yeah, it was very nervy. Um, I think, as, as I say, rode our luck and... Um, some fantastic defending as well. Uh, the goalkeeper was magnificent. Uh, and, yeah, and, you, and you're playing against your old club next week. That'll be a, yeah, no, a different challenge. Small absolutely. stadium, not not like Man United at home. You're going to have to uh, try and get back on the score sheet down there as well without upsetting everyone. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I've got um, a lot of friends and connections down at Bournemouth still and um, obviously keep my eye on them and... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going back. It'll be my first time back, so it'll be a, be a strange feeling, but really looking forward to it. Yeah, and it's Liverpool after that, so we've got to get something down there. What, what about the new boys then? You obviously mentioned Dubravka. He made an amazing impression for, for his first start. Kennedy doing well as well. We're yet to see Slomani. Just how are the new boys settling in? Yeah, no, fantastic. I think the managers obviously brought them in to add, add quality and uh, competition to the group, and it's done exactly that. Um, it's brought the best out of players. That was that was already here, and um, I think raised the bar and raised the levels. And obviously, competition within the squad is only a good thing. Did you did you have a different thought process as a team from Man City to the Man United game? Did you did you approach it slightly different? It looked like um, on the TV. It did look like it. Yes, I, 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 not intentionally. I wouldn't say. I mean, we always, as as everyone's seen this season, we, we try to be solid um, and and attack off of a good foundation. But I think that yesterday we. We we started on the front foot and, and as I say we started really well and I think that gave us confidence to then kick on and um, it, it, to get out of the pitch and, and create opportunities is is tough against the top teams and we managed to do that so it's um, yeah it was it, it was a completely different game to the to the times we played obviously Man City yeah. Mm. Rafa said afterwards, you know, this is a team that cares and you, that's all the fans want to see and you really could see that yesterday and Mourinho said that you 
fought like animals. Did you take that as a compliment? Absolutely, yeah, nice. Um, it was it was nice to hear because that, that's that's what you want from your team. You you want you want to you obviously every player cares about results and performances, but um, to have someone like Jose Mourinho notice that and 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 uh, and compliment us is um is fantastic. But we need to continue to do that because it's uh, by no so means so tight, down. isn't it down there? Everyone from from tenth down, you know, s- still in it. It's going to be some relegation battle. Little things happen oh, in games. Little things like can make the difference. A refereeing mm-hmm. decision. That save your goalkeeper's made in the 94th minute. I mean, your stomach must have turned on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Matt, did oh, it? Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, for I sure. I thought he was um, in. Mm-hmm. Matt. Yeah, I, I mean, he made some fantastic stops, but uh, that one that one at the end there was a fantastic save and uh, much needed. Hello, Matt. It's Bob Mills. Congratulations How on the doing? goal. There's nothing that fans love more than a, than a second ball goal. Because there's nothing more frustrating. I think it was Lejeune who won, who won the head. He got it across. And then and Gail you, flicked it on. <clears throat> and then yeah, Gail flicked it on, and you think, come on! And it's it's <laughs> our favourite goal, I have to say. Now here's the thing: <clears throat> we've been talking about Newcastle a lot on 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 this show, on on Jim White's show on Talk Sport. More often than not, we've been talking about it for the wrong reasons. We've been talking about it about business reasons and selling and bids coming in like that. As I'm fascinated as a fan. Does that have any effect on the dressing room? Um, I don't think so, no, because no. basically we, we can't control any of that. It's down to the, the the people above. So, I mean, for players, you just have to continue to get on with your job and um, hope uh, hope that things off the pitch resolve themselves and, and, and whoever's in control of that can resolve that to the best best um, best thing for the club. But I think that the, the main thing for the players is stay focused because... Um, games come so thick and fast that you need to be focused on them. How important is it that we keep Rafa and, and because of what Bob was talking about, do you worry at all that we could end up losing him because of all the uncertainty off the pitch? I think you'd, you'd be wasting your time worrying because I think that, as I say, the main thing now is just to stay in the Premier League and um, keep performing like we did yesterday and, and picking up points and then come the end of the season, hopefully we can achieve that and stay in the Premier League and then I'm sure there'll be a sort of new plan set and hopefully the manager can be part of that what's he like to work with oh, it's fantastic he's been a fantastic um uh influence on my career and uh, i think i speak for a lot of the lads there so no it's uh it's, it's really enjoyable and hopefully as i say together this season we can we can achieve the goal of staying in the premier league there's a couple of decisions that probably didn't go our way yesterday. Did you start thinking when we, we weren't awarded a penalty, not not even a free kick? Are you allowed kick? to keep saying we? That doesn't <laughs> right? Are you allowed I to keep saying we? I don't think you are. Oh. All right, when, when Newcastle <laughs> <laughs> weren't, weren't awarded a penalty, did you start thinking at that point this is not going to be our day? Um, no, I think uh, the longer it stayed nil nil, I, I think you, we, we sort of believe because that, that's sort of what we set out to do, sharp shop a little bit and, Stay in the game as long as you can, and then um, that's what we try to do against Manchester City. Um, stay in the game and hopefully get one chance and um, win one nil. And or, or against a good, a good, the top teams to, to take a point is good. So that's sort of the game plan against the bigger teams. So I think that um, just stay in the game at nil nil. Going at half time nil nil. We always believe that we'll get a chance in the second half and luckily enough we did and we managed to defend for our lives at the end there. Because that was a definite penalty, wasn't it? Seeing it again, yes, but as I say, I say all the time, it's, it's tough for the referee, it happens so quickly and it's when you see it in replay, slow down and things like that, it does make it a little bit easier. How confident are you then, Matt, that, that you're going to kick on, I'm saying you, you're going to kick on and, and stay up? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Um, I'm sure everyone will say that about their own team, but I do, I, I really believe that We've got enough within the group um, to, to continue and, uh, and hopefully build because the hunger's there, the desire's there. And I think that, that yesterday's performance is now set a, set a bar and we need to make sure that we don't go below that. And what sort of challenge are you expecting from Bournemouth? Because obviously they had a, a disappointing weekend up at Huddersfield, but a couple of really good results before that and were on a five-game unbeaten run. So that was almost a bit of a surprise at the weekend. Yeah, no, for sure. There's, obviously, I know Bournemouth well and um, got some fantastic players. Obviously, a fantastic manager, and uh, it's going to be a tough test. It's a great team, and I think they showed against beat Chelsea. And as you say, they've been on a good run. They showed that they can they can really give anyone a game when they're at it. And um, 
hopefully for us we can catch him on a bad day, but yeah, it's going to be a tough game. And you sent, I think your centre backs are going to have to play well because you know them strikers they've got there. They're a handful. Them Absolutely, strikers. yeah. Yeah, no, they got uh, Wilson, Kenny. They got every, they got everything. They got pace, power, and mm. um, good finishes. So yeah, as you say, we're going to have to be we're going to have to be on our game, but um, we'll be we'll be ready for it and confident. And talking about centre backs quickly, Matt, do you think Jamal Lassell should be on that plane to Russia? He's having a fantastic season. All he can keep doing is keep doing what he's doing week in week out. And, um, you never know. Uh, but yeah, no, he's having a great season and. Uh, He's been a huge part of the success we're having, hopefully, in this season. Matt, we really appreciate you coming on to talk to us this morning, well, this afternoon is now. Thanks very <laughs> yeah, well much. Well done. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, no Matt. All. Thank you. Thanks well a lot. Um, Matt Ritchie there talking about Newcastle's 1-0 win <laughs> over Manchester United. You've indulged me a bit there, guys, but we will... <laughs> we will. 